Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, this video is going to be a short one and I will be taking you uh, through a, 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 a short trick uh, with the help of which you will be able to set the pitch of the plane uh, during the takeoff because in the Airbus A320 Neo while configuring the MCDU, which is uh, the multifunction control and display unit, you have to adjust the flaps. Uh, or rather enter the uh, the flap position and plus uh, uh, the pitch trim whether the plane should pitch up or pitch down and plus the degree of the pitch you have to adjust that in my previous videos i've been telling you that um, i am looking for this information over the internet and once i found it i will share it with you although this is there if you want to search it you can also search it but somehow i have uh, prepared a chart for you uh, with the help of which you can, uh, you will be able to basically calculate or rather find out uh, uh, the pitch position and plus the angle uh, based on the center of gravity of the plane, uh, which is calculated as per the load, as per the fuel, as per the passengers and as per the uh, cargo in the plane. And uh, just to tell you, this is based on um, um, uh, what you can say, the load sheet which is prepared uh, before the flight and as per that the pitch is calculated and plus the cen center of gravity is calculated. I am going to uh, uh, start my flight from OPKC. Okay, so here I am at uh, OPKC. Let's uh, turn on the batteries and uh, turn on the external power and uh, let's uh, turn on the tab. Now, let's go to SimBrief and first of all have a look at uh, uh, the flight plan. So here I am in the sim brief and you can see I have already populated the information for the flight that is from Karachi to Islamabad. The airframe has been selected and plus I have also selected the passengers. Uh, full capacity, uh, cruising altitude at 38,000 feet, fuel factor I have just left it uh, zero, 00 as per the default. And uh, that's it. So let's uh, generate uh, the flight plan so that we can uh, uh, import this information into uh, the fly-by-wire Airbus A320's MCDU and plus the tab. So now the flight plan is generated. Let's go back to the cockpit. And uh, over here, let's uh, get the information from SimBrief. So you can see this information is now populated. Let's now move on to the MCDU. I will just uh, try to do it quickly because I want to uh, just jump on to the uh, option where we have to set the flaps and plus the pitch uh, of the plane. Okay, so I will go to ATSU. I will go to AOC menu and uh, in it press, uh, you get this information and uh, that's it. Go back, weight and balance, uh, operational flight plan request sent, 6675, you can see, uh, slow it, let's start the boarding, oh, request sent and then boarding, <laughs> you have to do it like this. Okay, now let's go to init and uh, let's uh, press init request. So now uh, the basic flight information is updated. And uh, this is uh, the point where we have to select the zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity. Just remember, as per the information that's been uh, entered in the flight plan, uh, the uh, the passengers and the cargo and the fuel, uh, the zero fuel weight and plus the zero fuel weight center of gravity is calculated. Zero fuel weight is actually uh, the weight of the plane without the fuel. Uh, so without the fuel, it's uh, the weight of the plane itself. Uh, plus the passengers and plus the cargo but you don't add the weight of the fuel to this and based on this the zero fuel weight center of gravity is calculated and uh, let's uh, confirm the block now remember that this is the center of gravity 30.04 30.4 so this is the center of gravity as far as i've understood uh, from uh, reading different articles and different information on the internet Center of gravity is basically um, um, a point in the plane where the whole weight of the plane is. If uh, um, um, the center of gravity, if, if, you, if you, let's say, if, if the pitch and trim is uh, set up, is towards up, it means uh, there is a center of gravity is uh, towards the front of the plane. And if the trim position is uh, set to be down for the pitch, then it means that the center of gravity is uh, towards the back because once taking off, um, if the center of gravity is towards the back, you have to, you know, uh, the plane will pitch up uh, very high. So 
you have to pitch it down you have to actually what you can say compensate uh, for the center of gravity so that's the basic if uh, there is there are so many articles over there interne- on the internet if you really want to go and get into the de- details of that you can do that but uh, just for this point i'll just keep it like this then once in the performance uh, you can see over here we have to set the flaps and plus the center of gravity information uh, based uh, for the for the pitch uh, uh, trim okay so n- if you remember in the init b it was 30.04 now let me show you one thing so this is the excel sheet that i've prepared and uh, after searching for this information for quite a long time on the internet you can see that the takeoff center of gravity slash trim position uh, so if uh, the center of gravity is uh, from zero it's towards uh, this side towards the uh, right side you have to pitch down and if it's on towards the left side you have to pitch up that's nose up as i told you before in my graphical representation <laughs> on, uh, on on the plane Uh, so if you remember our center of gravity was uh, 30.04 it is here 30.04 uh, this actual sheet was obviously uh, i made it on my computer on my own so um, uh, it's not available anywhere to download you can take a screenshot and you can just save it with you that's why i have the full screen with me so you can take the screenshot and uh, then you can use it on your own so it's very easy uh you can also refer to this table this table is uh, is is freely available on the internet you can also go and refer to this table uh but that's it so uh, remember one thing that whatever the center of gravity that you get uh, in the init b page you set the trim according to that and plus uh, the angle so at 30.4 it should be 0.4 down 0.4 down So I'm in the cockpit right now. I'll go to performance. And uh, one slash zero point four d n. So that's how you enter it. One is uh, the position of the flaps, which you can, uh, uh, which you extend during the takeoff. Uh, let's let's see if I can do one plus f because I remember I was trying one plus f I couldn't do that because one plus f is the right configuration uh, for the Airbus A320 slash zero point four down can we enter this it gives a format error I don't know uh, if, how to enter the one plus f uh, otherwise uh, you can use one. 0.4 down so that's it so it's the same entry that you have in the excel and uh, if i try to enter this you can enter this information let's go back to excel and you can see that if uh, uh, it's uh, um, below 28 the center of gravity is below 28 then um, it's uh, for it's set as up so just enter every any information over here as per this so it is 1 slash 0.7 up or 0.8 up or similarly like this so you will be able to do that i was reading some um, discussion groups on the, on the internet and they were very interesting somebody was telling me that you know he has uh, um, he calculates the passenger and the fuel in such a way uh, that the center of gravity is always uh, towards as, as per that center of gravity uh the pitch trim is always zero <laughs> so it doesn't have to uh set this information anyhow uh, there is an, another thing uh, which is written over here flex to temp i will um, try to make another video in which i will go into the details of flex to temp i'm not um putting everything into one uh, video because um, honestly speaking i am um, what i feel is this that if you put all the information in one video it gets very difficult for the viewers to digest it because you know you're moving to flaps and uh, plus the you moving to flex to temp you moving to this and different formation so you know it gets very lengthy and and people might lose the focus that's why i keep on breaking my videos into different parts and try to make them short to the point so that i can spend some good quality time on uh, covering some important thing with the help of which you will be able to make your flight so remember to take the screenshot of uh, um the chart that i've shown you and you can use it uh, for your ease 
If you have any questions, do let me know. I will be more than happy to respond to your questions. And uh, plus, if you have got any suggestions, most welcome. Positive feedback is already and very much welcome on my channel. I really love to have a positive feedback. And if, even if you have a negative feedback, if you it's, it's under certain limits, <laughs> then it's okay. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.